In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Shrixen 785 irons and whether or not they're worth picking up. So what we're going to be covering in this video are my first impressions, how it performed for me, who it's going to be best for, some pros and cons, and also where the best places to buy. So if you just are looking for the best and cheapest place to pick up these irons, I will leave a link down below at the time of this video that was the best place we could find it. So you can go ahead and check out the current price if you want to go ahead and do so. Let's start with my first impressions here. So I've never swung uh, tricks and clubs until recently. Um, when I basically decided to test out both the 785s and also the 565s. Um, basically the 785s are designed more for like your, your low to mid handicap player who's looking for distance, softness, and a more compact size. And then from what I could tell, um, the, the uh, 785 was better for shot shaping versus the 765. And it was also more versatile while the 565 was, um, it was a lot more forgiving and better for like mid to high handicaps. So how do they look? Um, I definitely prefer like the mid-sized compact irons over the big um, cavity backs that are currently on the market these days. I know a lot of people do like the um, the big ones just because they have so much forgiveness, but um, you know I feel way more confident with the mid-size. I definitely prefer that. Um, the 785s, they're slightly smaller than the 565s. All right, there's gonna be less offset and the top line is a little bit thinner as well and then if you prefer um you know the big irons these probably won't be for you um you know if you do prefer the bigger ones um you know obviously these are these are designed more for like low to mid handicap so obviously if you prefer the big ones you're probably a higher handicap and these probably won't be the best for you uh, but other than that i really like the way they felt at address um you know they they felt solid they look solid and um yeah so how's the sound and feel um, the club had more of like a soft feel and sound to it at impact and that's kind of what I prefer my irons to sound and feel like. Um, you know, I feel like I have more control and accuracy with the ball when it's more like soft versus an iron where the ball just jumps right off. Because I find that the, the, the irons that the ball just jumps off of, yeah, they're, they're probably going to go a bit further. Um, but, you know, 50% of the time you're going to be in the rough, right? So I definitely prefer something that's going to be more softer because I find I have better accuracy and more consistent with it and that's going to lead to lower scores for sure versus something that's just straight distance. Um, I found a lot of irons, they, they feel kind of hollow at impact and I'm, you know, I'm not a huge fan of that so it's nice to see that these clubs were designed the way they were. So how about performance because that's, that's, that's kind of the main thing that really matters but I found these irons a lot easier to hit than some of the other low handicap irons on the market like the M1s or the, the tip from TaylorMade. Um, you know, compared to the 5.65s, this club had it had a bit more distance for me, um, and the ball flight was also slightly lower. Um, the forgiveness definitely wasn't as good, so you really had to make sure you struck it pure to get the good distance. Um, you know, most kind of like mid to high handicaps, they don't always hit the center of the face, and that's kind of where like the slice or hook kind of comes from. So I found with these irons here, if you don't consistently hit them in you know the center of the club, the sweet spot, you're not gonna get the you're not gonna get very good distance. Um, but if you do hit it in the sweet spot, the distance was, um, you know, pretty much just as good as any other iron out there. Um, and it also has the uh, the VT sole reduce it a lot with miss hits or hitting on a thick grass. So basically, what they designed it to do was, um, a lot of the irons, like if you pretty much they have a lower bounce, so um, you know that they 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 basically won't won't bounce and and um, basically whenever you make contact with the ground, it's going to dig in. But they made this one so there's going to be more bounce so it'll cut through grass easier and then it basically reduces the amount of time that the club is in contact with the ground and that's going to you know prevent the chunking or you know what whatever that kind of thing so those were you know the the, the two big things that i noticed was um you know they definitely didn't dig into the ground as much which, which helped a lot with miss hits and then number two um you know distance was good only when hit in the sweet spot and then there wasn't as much forgiveness as some of the other clubs okay so those are kind of the main things i noticed with performance let's cover some pros so the distance is great when it's struck pure all right it's going to be great for shop shaping and is more versatile all right it had a nice and soft feel which helped a lot with accuracy and then it's great for hitting out of thicker grass or even wet ground i really noticed it definitely helped out because where where i'm at um you know the majority of the year um you know other than pretty much uh, July and August it's the, the the ground is a bit damp so if you pretty much dig into the ground it's just gonna be like you're hitting on a mud right so this definitely helped a lot with that um how about some cons so they aren't the most forgiving irons on the market definitely notice that and then they're compact which a lot of average golfers don't like um I, I prefer them more compact and I know a lot of kind of like lower handicaps like that as well 
So let's cover some frequently asked questions. Okay, so what is the, um, the basically the, the iron price? And it's always changing and the best place we could find it is in the description down below. Um, you know, what's the uh, basically handicap range? Um, it's designed more for lower handicaps. I'm a mid handicapper myself and I def definitely still like them. And then how about the uh, 585s versus the 785s? Um, I found that the 585s were more for like mid to high handicaps um, who need forgiveness over distance. And then the 785s were the opposite. So they were more for like lower handicaps who don't need a whole lot of forgiveness. Um, they want shot, sh shot shaping and a more distance. Okay, so how about the breakdown? So performance scroll, I'll give it a nine. Price scroll, I'll give it a six. Comfort and feel, I'll give it a 10. And then my overall personal score is going to be 8.5, which is pretty solid. Okay, so is it actually worth it? I would say if you're in the market for a new iron set, you prefer a compact club and you prefer workability and distance over forgiveness, this could be a perfect club for you. Um, you know, they are one of my favorite lower handicap irons. And if they fit your game, I think they'd, um, you know, they'd work great for you. And again, the best place we could find it is down below. And I'll just quickly mention our golf giveaway here. So if you want to enter our monthly golf giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel or right, then comment giveaway down below. Simply do both and you'll be automatically entered. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions down below and we will see you in the next video.